welcome back to my channel so today's video is a reading vlog I'm restarting these well not restarting I'm just picking them back up because it is summertime and I have more time to read now that I work two jobs crazy right I actually work third shift now and I still have my part-time job so during third shift I just had my first shift on Saturday night through Sunday morning and I read two books so with that being said, I'm gonna get a lot of reading done. Like I have over, I have over 60 books on my TBR shelf. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to um, read those. Okay, so as you see by the title, this reading vlog is to finish this book, Crave by Tracy Wolf. If you haven't seen my little vlog review of the first book, please go check it out. I will have it linked up above. I think it's on this side. I don't know maybe it's this side um so you can get a little review of that this is book two i really like this series well i like this series but i'm not like in love with it um but that's okay i really love how the hard covers for these are just so beautiful so basically she, right now she has i don't even remember her name that's a problem I think I'm just going to restart it. Here's my bookmark on page 193. This is probably going to be spoilers. Click out of this if you don't want to hear spoilers. Basically, she has turned to stone. She's like a gargoyle now. And the evil twin, Jackson's evil twin, Hudson, is living inside of her. So she's like fighting off him, like trying to take over her body while she's trying to be herself, but it isn't working. She's getting closer to Hudson, even though he's like trying to kill her and come out uh, through her and take over her body. So it's a little crazy. Um, and I really like how fast paced it's going. So I'm going to finish this book. I need to finish it. There's 600 and 683 pages. I think I can finish this today, but I'm also reading a book on my Kindle said called Puck Me Secretly. <laughs> yes, it's a hockey romance and I'm loving it. So I'm definitely going to read book two, um, but I do want to, I'm 57% of the way through it. I really want to read that first, but I am going to finish this. I pro actually... I'm not going to finish this book today because I do want to go to the gym later. Did I also tell you that I'm running on seven hours of sleep? Like all together in the last three days? No, I did not. So I'm going to try to read to 272 because I'm already on almost page 200. Um, so I'm going to read this chunk and get back with you guys and let you know how it goes. And then I'm going to switch off and read this later. I do need to edit a vlog that needs to go up tomorrow. So I'm pretty busy. Also, my dogs want me to sit outside with them. Like, they're very um, needy. So I've been trying to battle that of, like, trying to get them to not be so needy. But it's not working. So I'm going to go outside and start reading. So let's go do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And welcome to my hot mess of a life in a vlog. Subscribe. Okay, hey guys, so, excuse the mess, I'm going to get groceries, it's 4.17, my phone is dead, it needs to charge, I literally let my phone die, I was too busy on TikTok making a video in remembrance for my dad for Father's Day, then my phone died, so, 
Now I'm going to get groceries. Honestly, I'm not really hungry today. I think it's because of the coffee I had. But I'm just feeling really sad. Yesterday was Father's Day and I didn't do anything because I was sleeping and now I'm just like feeling all the motions from it. So hopefully I can go home in the next few weeks to visit my dad's grave. So that's how I'm feeling, but I'm going to go get groceries and see what kind of meals I can think of for the next week because we need food in the house. We literally don't have anything and I gotta pack snacks, so. I will be back probably when I'm done getting groceries. Don't mind this stain. I'm literally going to clean it off in a few minutes. Um, it's ranch from the carrots I was eating. Also, please excuse this mess. I just got back from work and now I have a day off. Um, so I'm going to spend today reading and playing The Sims. So also, my hair is literally a hot mess. Probably be in a ponytail or braids later, so it is what it is. We're just starting it off. The book that I'm reading is Covet by Tracy Wolf. I just finished Crush yesterday, last night, and you know what? Mm, it was okay. It was like a three stars. There's that. Hopefully you cannot just ignore my <laughs> stain. I'm really liking Hudson, Jackson's twin that was stuck inside her head, so. I hope there's more romance in this book than it was in the other book. The first book was giving romance. The second book is, okay, we're flirting with a new dude. The third book, I hope there's some romance. I know it's not gonna be like my type of adult romance, but you know what, we need some makeout scenes. This is supposed to be a young adult book. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm on, literally I'm on chapter one. No, I'm on chapter three. <laughs> Page 13 called Keep Calm and Wingo On. Where we left off, I'm drawing a blank, but whatever. She is mated to Jackson in like the first two books. They had to go through this trial to win against the circle so that they would not take her. It's, it's really confusing. Honestly, the second book was a little really confusing because I just not could get into it. Twin brother Hudson was trying to kill everyone. So Jackson tried to kill Hudson, but somehow Hudson got transformed into her head so she could hear him and talk to him and whatnot. And then like his powers were so how he, he was so par powerful that he, she could see him like in public, but no one else can. So it was like a hot mess. Um, and then they had to win this huge competition so they could get the bloodstone to get Jackson out of her head so that Jackson could kill Hudson, but that didn't happen. Hudson finally got out of her head and became like a life form again with his powers and everything, but somehow Jackson's and their bond broke. So they're not mates anymore. And then at the end for the girl to win the competition, it's almost like Harry Potter, like a tri-wizard co competition. She needed to use a, have a mate to compete. Somewhere in the mix, her and Hudson bonded together and now they're mates. So where we left off is um, she almost died and when she came back to life, Jackson asked to hold her and so Hudson gave her to Jackson so he could hold her, like, just look at her and whatnot. But Hudson, his, like, fangs came out. He got super angry and he was like, Get your hands off my mate. So that's where we left off. Hudson is her mate now. She doesn't really understand why, which is really weird because, girl, you've been flirting with him the whole second book. Creating that bond. So exactly she was creating that bond with him and she doesn't realize it so she's a little dumb i'm really excited i hope her romance with hudson is more powerful more extreme and really good so that's where we are and i'm going to read to at least page 100 and then get back with you guys so i will check back with you guys and hi guys so <laughs> it is now wednesday 7 58 p.m I got called in to go to work to do a third shift, so I'm gonna go in. I have to work at 9 p.m. until 9 a.m. the next day, and honestly, I'm super tired because I the staff meeting we had this morning for about three hours, and then it always goes over, and then I went to my part-time job, and that was four hours, but today was supposed to be my um, day off, so basically went to work at my full-time job for three hours for free, not excited about it, but you know, I guess it is what it is. 
Um, <clears throat> then I got called in to see if I wanted to pick up the shift tonight and I said sure why not which I should have said no because honestly I'm like dead tired I need to make coffee before I go to work and after that when I got home at noon we had to drive two hours south to go get my boyfriend's car out of the car shop because a seal broke on his car somewhere I don't know somewhere in the back of his car and the dealership that we take our cars to that we trust really trust with our cars um is two hours away so i had to drive there and then drive two hours back i finally got home and it is now i have like 30 minutes before i need to go so i have like 30 minutes to spare i took my dogs out let them run around let them go potty um i was going to read some of my book on my kindle but i'm gonna be there for 12 hours tonight so i'll just save that for later um, I'm probably just gonna take like a 20 minute nap Make my coffee and then head to work, but I was thinking on my way back home today From the dealership just how happy I am that I got another job Because like this time last year I was so depressed um, Yes, I had a part-time job But it still wasn't enough money and I just feel really like thankful that I'm able to get this car that I have and take care of it. I have to get an oil change tomorrow. So that's what I'm going to do. And I also scheduled an appointment to get remote start installed on my car. And he told me the price. It's about $550. And I would usually stress and freak out about it. But because I have this other job, I was fine with it. I was just like, yep, let's go ahead. Let's schedule it. And... I, it feels weird like I'm trying to be happy but it's hard to be happy because I have not been happy in a long time um so I just feel really happy and thankful that I'm able to get things done for myself I feel like I'm celebrating and taking care of my inner child because of everything that I've been through growing up life was really rough and being able to afford nice things and take care of myself now it's just it's really such a blessing to have that's how i'm feeling right now i kind i'm kind of on like a euphoria trip right now <laughs> even though it's like 90 degrees out i'm gonna try to take a 20 minute nap before i have to go in and i will catch up with you guys tomorrow after i read some of my book <laughs> maybe i'll read it all tonight who knows please excuse my dogs they're clingy clingy anyways okay so I read this while at work. I didn't get as far as I wanted to just because I was on my phone. I read 232 pages. So, here we go. So now that Hudson is a person now, he's back to his vampire self. He's back at school. Grace, her name is Grace, as you saw as I corrected myself. Grace is really upset that she does not have her... She's heartbroken that her and Jackson's bond is no more. She wants to be with Jackson so bad, but their bond is broken, their mate bond. So Jackson doesn't feel the way he used to feel about her. And she's super upset. He likes her, but not as strong as it used to be because of their bond. Um, so, my hair looks cute. So she's trying to get a hold of things, like trying to bring back the spark with Jackson, and Jackson is trying to, but it's just not working. It's just not working. Um, so Jackson broke up with her, and she's having like a heartbreak. She's dying, basically. Um, but now that Hudson is in the picture, she can feel him always watching. She can feel like the love but she doesn't want to acknowledge it like she's getting really annoying about it she knows that she's bonded with him now but she doesn't want to acknowledge that she's attracted to him and all that even though she was acknowledging it when he was stuck in her head so just a little food for thought anyways she finally talks to jackson and jackson was just like just go ahead we got to go our separate ways and she's finally letting go and starting to talk to Hudson and get to know him and flirt with him and all that stuff. So, so they got stuck into uh, stuck in a project together. Hudson is like the most powerful vampire in the school. 
again. Hmm, who would have thought? And so that's interesting. Yeah, so like on page 87, Grace was talking to Jackson, and Jackson was just saying that um, Jackson and Grace and Hudson, they need to kill their dad basically because he's coming after Grace to kill her because they don't want a gargoyle uh, in their circle or whatever the powerful team is. Um, so Jackson is like, I'm not going to let them ha that happen. I'm not going to let them kill you. And then she says when they looked at each other's, she saw in his eyes that she didn't see before. Something raw and real and powerful. And that's when I know Jackson still cares for me. At least a little. Like, girl, come on. Get over him. I just thought I had to share that with you because that was really annoying. So, she is acknowledging her and Hudson's attraction for each other. And they are just now starting to get more coupley and romantic. Um, they haven't really kissed yet, but they got really close to... Um, she's thinking of wanting him to kiss her, but she doesn't want to like ask or whatever. So, so that's what's going on. I'm loving Hudson. He's just so cute and beautiful and romantic in the villain bad boy type of way. I'm loving it so much. So right now, that's what's going on. They're trying to find a way that they can Hudson and Jackson's parents or whoever's in the circle or like beat them again so that they don't come for Grace and kill her. So that's like what the main goal is. Right? As I read, as far as I read, I haven't read much. Obviously, there's 680 pages, but that's what I got out of it so far. Um, I did skip some pages because it was kind of annoying reading about it so I want to get to the romance but yeah I'm gonna go take a nap now because I need I have to work later and I just I need to get my six hours of sleep in so I will catch up with you guys probably Friday morning because it is Thursday um yeah so I will talk to you all later oh my god you guys I just had a mini heart attack I, um, so I took my computer and my camera, this G7X I just got last summer, cause it broke. Um, I took it to work with me and <laughs> so I could edit my vlog, my video and half of my vlog. Um, and then I put my camera in my backpack, but I did not put it in this because this, my little camera bag that has saved my life ever since I bought it was wet because my Starbucks tumbler was on my car floor and it leaked and it got everything wet so I couldn't put this in so I just left this in my backpack unprotected so I just got home from the dealership getting an oil change $75 by the way honey no honey no that's expensive anyway um so I grabbed my backpack forgetting that I had my camera in, in there and my backpack was open and so I just grabbed it out of the car and this camera fell onto our dirt driveway and the lens kind of like got stuck and it wouldn't close all the way and now I have two big scratches on my camera and I was about to cry because I don't have $500 to get another camera right now. Um, so I was looking up like how to fix, how to open up the lens that protects the camera. Luckily, I found a video and also luckily I had one of these tools from when my Nintendo Switch broke. I bought like a tool kit and it has one of these. Got little different claws on the edge, like different pieces. And he said to use like one of these to claw open, loosen up the thing loosen up the front of the camera lens protector and like try to get them to come down and I did and it finally opened and I'm so happy so now my camera is back in business for the most part but I think I messed up the lens though because I kept blowing the dirt out and there's dirt like on the inside of my lens hopefully you can't see that on the video but I can definitely see it obviously 
So whatever, I guess I'm just gonna have to start a savings fund for a new camera. Um, but yeah, so there's my mini heart attack for the day. Now, I'm gonna update you guys on my book. So, moral of the story, if you have a vlog camera and that's like the only camera you use, get one of these camera pouches from Amazon. I think it was $8.99, so $9. It has saved my life. And also, get one of these tools. You can just order like a Nintendo Switch toolkit. One of these tools, this helped. Now this is gonna forever be in this pouch because obviously I might need it. Um, okay, so been busy I really need to go to sleep because I work tonight I work 12 hours tonight again and I'm not gonna get much sleep <laughs> my target package came today I ordered the egg chair I'm so excited I cannot wait to set it up oh dirty car guys hi guys Today is Monday, June 27th. I don't know how well my camera is going to sit on here because I don't have anything holding it up. I am, <sighs> I got called in yesterday to work at like 10 o'clock at night. So I went to help out from, from 10 to 3 a.m. So I'm tired, like I look hungover I'm wearing a long sweater very short shorts and <laughs> I just look very hungover I'm going to Starbucks to get a venti cold brew I'm just gonna do this and I'm so excited I was gonna make coffee at home but it just it's not satisfying the need right now I have so much to do today YouTube wise and like planning wise and like housework that I need to do. So it's gonna be a busy day, it's my day off. I don't work until Thursday, so I have a few days off. Um, so today is just going to be editing videos, going to get them uploaded later, work on doing new thumbnails, work on planning my YouTube videos for the next month, which is July, which is coming up in a few days, like literally a few days. Yeah, just looking at my schedule and getting all my finances back on track. Sorry it's so loud, I'm driving on a dirt road. I'll be back with my drink. I finished it, kinda. Um, here is my review of this book. I started to annotate it a little bit of all like the cute things of Hudson and Grace, and then I stopped <laughs> because it just started to feel like too childish for me, which is really sad because I do like to read Harry vampire movie, like vampire books and whatnot and like romance books, but like this just wasn't given. It wasn't giving enough for me. My desk is a mess. And I just, I'm really sad. It started to feel like Harry Potter in a way that they had to like, it just started to feel like too much of Harry Potter and I did not want to read it again. Um, so I literally skipped over a bunch. So I basically DNF this book like right when they started to go to like Hudson went to prison and then Grace was going with him. I basically like Tried to skim through it because I couldn't stay interested in it. So yeah, um, I'm going to give this book a two stars 2.5 because I was interested in the book until like 200 and literally chapter 59 which is 204 page 245 this is literally where I stopped all this extra stuff I just was not interested in um but I am gonna read the third book I think I have it so I will definitely do a reading vlog for that um but this just wasn't it it just wasn't it I just couldn't get into it and I feel bad because I literally started annotating it um maybe I'll just finish it another day randomly well I am going to the beach on Tuesday so maybe I'll take this and try to finish it but but yeah so two stars okay so that is the end of this vlog I hope you guys enjoyed um I'm gonna try to keep doing reading vlogs like this because my vlogs are longer when I do it this way yeah I'm gonna start my new book and I will see you guys in my next video